now go to local disk C and copy tensorflow one folder and paste it to google drive i have already copied the folder and renamed it as tensorflow now let us create a colab file in this folder let us rename the file as train and detect cards Open a new tab and paste the link given in the video description to get all the commands to train the file in Google Colab. Copy the first command and paste it in the Colab file. This command will select TensorFlow version 1. Create another cell. Copy the second command and paste it in the text next cell. This is going to import TensorFlow as TF and it will activate the device GPU. If we run it, we are going to get an error. Let's find out why. As you can see that there is a system error. To resolve this, we need to change the runtime and select hardware accelerator to GPU to run the file. As we have changed the hardware accelerator, we will have to run the first file as well before we run the second one. Let's copy and paste the next command. Since we are using our drive folder, we need to mount the drive with the colab. This will generate an authentication link. Go to this link and select your account. Allow it and copy the link. Go back to Colab file, paste it and hit enter. As you can see that Google Drive has been mounted. Let's copy and paste the next command. This command is going to select your drive folder. This command by default will select a folder named desktop. Since our folder name is TensorFlow in which we are working, we are going to change the folder name desktop as TensorFlow. We will have to replace desktop with TensorFlow for rest of the commands too. Now create a new cell. We can skip step 7 as we already done it in our desktop folder before uploading it to drive. Let's install necessary dependencies and tools. Copy the command, paste it and run.
this is going to take some time after it's completed let's copy and paste the next command Here we need to change folder name desktop with tensorflow again. This command is going to select the research folder. Run the next command to set environment. Don't forget to change the folder name. Change it here too. Ok, so run the next command. This is going to take some time. Let's run the next to know how much time you are left with for collab session. Copy this part and paste it. So you are almost here. Before that we need to check if we have installed everything needed for training for this copy and paste the following command once again change the folder name and run since there is no error we can go for training Now we need to change our directory to object detection folder. We can just copy the command from here. So directory is now changed to object detection folder. Let's see what's next. Since we have already performed creating XML to CSV operation, we are going to skip step 9. We have the label map.pbtxt file already created. We also have the generated TF record file. So we will skip generate tf record file and directly go to command section of edge electronics. Here we will copy the generated tf record line and paste it in the collab. Replace the backward slash with the forward slash else you will get an error and put an exclamatory sign before the command. This will generate train.record file using generate tfrecord.py from train labels.csv. This is going to take some time. Train.record file has successfully been created. 
now we are going to generate tfrecord.py file now we need to create test.record file we can just copy the above line and replace train with test just run it again this may take some time so test.record has been generated you can check it if you want in the object detection folder we have one more common to run so go to the following web page copy the command at step 12 and paste it run the command This will launch the tensor board. Since we don't have any training running, we will find it as inactive. Create another cell. Go to the GitHub page for Edge Electronics and let's check if we are left with anything or not. We don't need to create label map and configure training as we are using existing dataset. So go to the object detection folder inside Google Drive. Go to the training folder and open faster RCNN inception with text editor. Check if num class value is 6. It should be 6 as we are training 6 type of cards. Now go to GitHub page and you will find that at line number 106 tune checkpoint is inside c drive directory folder let's go and check faster rcnn inception version 2 file let us click at show line number we will find the same thing at line number 110 here we need to change the directory as we are working inside google drive Please note that we are using Google Drive and directory has already been selected to object detection folder. So we will remove the other parts and make the directory only faster rcnn version 2 slash model.ckpt. Also get down below. And change input path train.record only. and level map path as training slash level map dot pbtxt again get down below and change input path as test dot record and level map path should be training slash level map dot pbtxt save it to drive if it's all set finally we are ready for training go to edge electronics page and copy the command at step 6 and paste it in the colab Do remember to put an exclamatory sign before the command and check if all slashes are followed slashes. Now run the command and training will start in a short while. 
You can ignore the warnings while starting the training. This may take up to 2 to 3 hours or even more. I suggest keep training until the loss is below 0 0.05 and step more than 50,000. After 3 hours, you can see that my step is more than 60,000 and loss is below 0 0.05. Now I can interrupt the kernel using Ctrl plus M or from the runtime by clicking interrupt execution. Please note that if you want to train again, you can run the cell again and it will start from the last step where you stopped training. Go to Edge Electronics GitHub page and copy the command in step 7 and paste it in the colab. Now put the exclamatory sign before the command. Here you will find that model.ckpt-xxxx. Remove the xxxx part. Go to the training folder inside the object detection of Google Drive. Note the last file number from there and type it instead of xxxx. Now let's run the cell. This will generate the interface graph in your interface graph folder. You can check it after the file is created. Now it's time to check if the training file can detect the card correctly. Go to the object detection folder. Go to interface graph folder and you will find that frozen interface graph has been created. You will use the pb file to detect the images. Move to object detection folder and open object detection image.py with text editor. Copy this file and paste it in the notebook. Please note that I have changed the script a bit to match with the colab. You may find different lines in your script. Cut them and use the following lines. From google.colab.patches, import cv2 underscore I am show. Go below this script and replace the line cv2.imshow with cv2 underscore show image in first bracket as Google Colab cannot work with cv2.imshow command. Now run the command. If everything is correct, this is going to detect all the cards correctly. 